Today, I'm doing a speedrun challenge in Minecraft. I'll only have 10 minutes to break this obsidian block or I lose the challenge. Can I win or will Milo hunt me down? You don't stand a chance, Chip. I'm gonna beat you. There is no way you can find diamonds in 10 minutes and make a pickaxe to break this obsidian block. I'm pretty confident, Milo. I reckon I definitely will be able to. Yeah, right. Start the time now. Ready or not, here I come. Uh, I'm gonna jump into the ocean. Oh gosh. Okay, luckily I landed. Now I'm gonna grab a bunch of crops from these villages. You better run faster, boy, because I'm right behind you. Oh no, Milo. Oh gosh, I better grab this quick. I do not want to run out of food. That would make me lose this challenge. Ow! I got you! Keep running! Hey, stop hitting me! You're really bad at this, Chip. I can't wait to win! Oh gosh, oh gosh, stop it, Milo. Oh gosh, where can I go from here? Wait a second, I know. I'm gonna run into this forest and lose you in the trees. What? You're not gonna lose me because I'm a pro. Yeah, not as pro as I am, Milo. I'm so good at this. And look, I got a chicken egg. Watch this. Boom. Hey, don't throw eggs in my face, bozo. <laughs> You're the bozo, Milo. Wait, where did you go? I've lost Milo in the trees. That's perfect. Now I've got another twist up my sleeves. I'm going to use my x-ray mod to find diamonds really quickly. Wow, I can see so far down. This x-ray pack really does work. Now, where are the diamonds? I don't think I see any. What? Not a single one? That's terrible. I really need to get going on my hunt for diamonds. But first, I need some more food and some basic supplies as well. Luckily, this village will surely help me. I'm going to grab as many logs as I can from these village houses. They'll surely come in handy when crafting tools and things. You definitely need pickaxes when mining for diamonds, so that's exactly what I'm going to craft. Now that I have four logs, I'm going to turn them into a crafting table and a bunch of sticks as well. I'll get the crafting table first and now we'll get um, maybe eight sticks. Yeah, that's a good amount. I'm going to do my crafting inside this house. I don't want Milo to walk up on me by accident. First, I'm going to make a pickaxe. This is going to be great. And now I'm going to make a sword. We need two planks and one stick. Boom, we've already got a wooden sword. Let's break this crafting table and save our materials for later. Before we mine anything else though, I'm going to grab the cobblestone from underneath this house. It'll come in really handy when making cobblestone tools. I really hope the villagers don't get angry at me though. That would be so crazy. I don't want them to call the police on me or anything. That would be so embarrassing. Okay, I've got enough cobblestone to make a pickaxe and a sword. Now I'm going to get quickly going on that. I do not want to be caught off guard. When my loot comes here, I want to be able to fight back. All right, we've got the sword. Now we need a pickaxe. Perfect. Oh, yeah. All right, now let's break the crafting table again. I keep needing to bring it with me. I don't want to leave it behind. Hey, villager, do you have anything cool inside your house? Ugh, a stone cutter? Do you have any trades? No, you're really boring. Hmm, wait a second. Look over there. There's hay bales. I definitely need to grab these. And wait a minute. Inside all of these village houses are chests. I need to go looking through them to see if any of them have some awesome stuff that will help me win this challenge. I don't think there's a chest inside this house, but... Ugh, Ugh, that's so frustrating. I will take a bed though, just in case I need to save myself from falling from a really great height. Hey, is there a chest in here? What? No. Where did all the chests go? These villagers are so bad at making cool things. Hang on. I know this kind of house has a chest up top and wow, there's so many apples, saplings, and potatoes. There's even one gold nugget. I'm going to take it, but I don't know what I can possibly do with it. Hmm, maybe this really big house has a chest in it? No, I don't see any. I'll peek in the door, but yep, exactly as I thought. There's no chest inside. This is so frustrating. I'm just gonna go inside this house and mine this guy's clay. Wait a minute. Hey, clay dude, you've got a chest in here. I wonder what's inside. Okay, he's gone out now. I'm gonna see what's in it. Okay, there's a bunch of gunpowder, some bones, and some string. That's pretty handy, but whoa. There's a TNT and a flint and steel. Those are really handy things. I can use that to blow up Milo or set Milo on fire. That'll really help me win this speed running challenge. Oh, this is awesome. Wait, I also just realized I have my x-ray ability. I'm going to activate it to see if there's any caves near this village. Okay, there's a bunch of ores here. There's some copper, lapis, coal, and iron, but... I don't see any diamonds and I certainly don't see any caves. What? Why are there no caves inside this whole village? Who's that in the distance? Uh-oh, it's Milo. Oh, Chip, are you here? 
Oh no. Uh, run, run, run. I have to get out of here. I'm gonna take this bell though. I really wanna ring it to annoy Milo. Hang on, what's that over there? I see something orange. Oh no, Milo, you found me. Uh, quick, I need to try and lose you in this village. No way, buddy, I got you now. Oh gosh, this x-ray is making it really hard to find a place to hide. Okay, I see Milo through the wall. If I can just stay on the opposite side of this house to him, eventually he'll get confused. Wait a second, where did you disappear to? Oh wait, I just looked through the window. Oh no, I forgot that the window is see-through even without x-ray. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, I need to run away from Milo. I'm gonna hide behind this house now. He won't be able to see through this one. Oh Chip, I keep losing you, but don't worry, I'm gonna find you again! Oh no, Milo's found me, ow, ow, hey, stop it. Oh gosh, oh gosh, where could I run to? Uh, I'm gonna go up this way. Wait, there's lava, I can use this to my advantage. Hey Milo, come over here. Yeah. You're gonna die now! Oh, you got some TNT! Nice! Well, I'm not gonna blow up! Yeah, you don't have to, Milo. Come on, try and get me! Oh, no worries! I can jump over this! Wait! Ow! Oh, I couldn't make it! Yeah! <laughs> Good job, Chip! I'm so lucky that that worked! But wait a second, I only have seven minutes left on my timer to beat the game. I need to hurry. Ugh, this cave is so frustrating. I can't find any iron. Oh, wait, hang on. That's perfect. There's some right over here. Hang on, I don't know if this is going to be enough to make all the tools that we need. I think it's time to use x-ray. Nine iron is not going to be enough. I don't see any more iron except, wait, look, right there. Right where we came up. That's perfect. Let's grab all of this hidden in the wall. It's so handy having this x-ray super duper cheap. Cheat hack. Oh, I'm so excited. This iron is gonna come in super duper useful for making my pickaxe and some tools. Um, we need coal though. I think coal is gonna be really important for helping to smelt the iron. You cannot make iron tools if you just use raw iron. That'll just be a bunch of rocks. You need to turn them into iron ingots by using a furnace. Do we have enough materials for a furnace? No, we need four more cobblestone. Luckily, there's so much here. We are in a cave after all. Now let's place down our crafting table and get going on our furnace. We'll arrange the cobblestone in a shape like this and boom, the furnace is ready. Let's place it down here. Yeah, wow, I did not realize that was space in front of me. I really need to get used to this x-ray thing. All right, we'll start smelting the iron so I can make an iron pickaxe. In the meantime, I will grab all this coal. I think it could be really handy for smelting even more materials if we run into them. Wow, there's even more cave here. I I can barely tell with this x-ray. All I can see is a bunch of amazing ores for us to mine. Look at that! Three iron ingots ready to make a pickaxe out of. And we have the perfect amount of sticks as well. Oh yeah, isn't it iron pick? Yeah, I think it totally is. Let's get our furnace and go look for diamonds. Hmm, I think I see some right down there, look! Oh yeah, let's go down there and try to mine them. All right, let's make our way down slowly. Oh no, I can't see very well thanks to this x-ray. I've got to be super careful that we don't accidentally fall or something. Wait, look, I can see water over there. Let's try and use that as a way to jump down. Uh-oh, that's gravel. I need to be super careful to build around it. I think we can jump into that water if I just build a couple more blocks out in that direction. Let's place one, two andesite, and okay, I think I can make this jump in three, two, one! Oh no, I hit my head! Ow, I'm really low. Oh goodness, we better mine this diamond quick before Milo gets here. Look, we're getting so many diamonds. I wonder how many we're gonna get. We've got seven so far, but let's mine these final four diamonds. I can't believe we got so many. 11 whole diamonds. We need to get back up to our crafting table if we want to make a pickaxe. Oh gosh, please hurry, please hurry. All right, we'll climb up this water and I need to find a way to get out. I can barely see thanks to this x-ray. I'll have to mine my way up. Luckily, mining is one of the easiest things to do do when you have x-ray. Once I craft my diamond pickaxe, I wonder what else I'll be able to make with all these diamonds. Probably some armor and a really powerful diamond axe. That is the tool that does one of the most amounts of damage in the whole game. Okay, I've made it up to the crafting table. Let's make two more sticks and we're ready to make our diamond pickaxe. Let's throw away that andesite and we'll make the pickaxe in three, two, one. We did it. Now we have a diamond pickaxe. Let's get rid of these trash items. I need this crafting table back. It is too precious to leave behind. I wonder what other diamonds I can mine. A chip! Oh no, that's not a diamond. That's Milo. Where are you? I think you're upstairs. No, I'm not Milo. Stay back. Oh gosh, I've got to run. I'm coming up. 
Oh no, Milo found the tunnel that I dug. Oh gosh, I need to jump down and try to run away from him. I can't just go straight down, but I'll need to use my precious crafting table. Oh gosh, bye Milo. I think you're gonna lose this time. I'm right on your tail. Oh gosh, well I don't have a tail because I'm a human. Yeah, well you're about to have a tail when I put my sword in your back. Hey, wait, you're a backstabber? You're so cheeky. Oh, goodness, I've got to use my x-ray to hide without letting Milo. I have x-ray. Hey, don't hit me. I'm going to hit you. You don't have any armor on, Bozo. Oh, Milo's right. I don't have any armor on. Oh, gosh, I'm going to need to be very careful while running away from him that he doesn't hit me again. Whoa, I think this might be a big cave. I'm going to run through it. I'm going to beat you this time. You're not going to destroy that block. Yes, I will. I've got a diamond pickaxe already, Milo. I'm really close to being able to do it. What? Oh, no. All right, now you've made me even more stressed. Get back here. I think I see a large opening in this cave at the back there. I can go down that water hole and see what's beyond. I don't think Milo's going to see this one, so it'll be a really useful hiding spot. Wait, which part of the water did you just go into? Oh, no. Now that I'm at the back, let's mine this granite. I'm going to use it to block off the way that we came through. Milo's not going to be able to see us, but we'll be able to see him. I'm totally lost. Chip, you're going to pay for this. I think we've lost him. Now let's break out of here and continue trying to break this obsidian block. I've got four whole minutes to spare. I'm doing really, really well in this speedrunner versus hunter challenge. Thanks, X-Ray. Ugh, I've been speed jumping for ages. Surely I must be near the starting village now. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, look, there it is. There's the obsidian block that we need to break in the middle of the gold. And hang on a second. Did the stairs always look like that? And what's that underneath them? Is that a lava lake? Who could have done this? Oh, Milo, what did you do? <laughs> Welcome to the platform, Chip. What? Milo, you can't do this. You broke the stairs and placed lava. That's against the rules. There's no way you're winning now. Not after I'm done with you. Okay, I'm going to start to build up, Milo. I'm going to get you no matter how hard you try. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what? That did so much damage. Ah, Milo, I've got to get out of here. There's no way I can beat you now. You don't have a chance. I'm going to need a new way of destroying that obsidian block. But first, I need to get some new armor and weapons to stop Milo. This cave is so full of ores. This extra is so overpowered. I'm going to mine a bunch of different ones to try and get as overpowered as we possibly can to try and defeat Milo. Wow, this is a massive vein of lapis lazuli. I'm going to mine as much of this lapis as we can because I'm going to use it to enchant a couple things. Look, over the other side of this cave, I see diamonds. Oh, I'm so close to them. I can just feel it. X-ray makes it so much easier to mine and see them. It's lucky there are no admins around. Otherwise, I'd probably get in a lot of trouble. Oh, this is awesome. All right, we've already got 14 diamonds. Let's get rid of this granite. I want to start crafting as much armor as we possibly can. Hmm, which armor should we craft first? I think some leggings are the perfect way to go. All right, we've done the leggings. Now it's time to craft some diamond boots. Perfect! We've already got two pieces of our diamond armor. We only have two more to go and then we'll be fully decked out. We should also try and get some diamond weapons as well. Those will come in very handy for trying to defeat Milo. Let's get the ones around the lava because diamonds spawn more commonly around lava pools. They are really dangerous though, so we've got to be extra careful. I'm going to mine straight down, which is normally very dangerous, but it's actually safe for me because I can see that there's no lava underneath these blocks. We're already going to have seven diamonds after we mine these three diamond blocks. Perfect! That's almost enough to craft a chest plate. We just need a couple more and we'll be totally stacked. There are diamonds below us here. Let's go grab these ones as well. Come on, diamonds. I wonder how many are in this vein. I've counted four, but maybe there's going to be another one. No, there's not. Dang it, there's only four in this vein. Now, let's get these diamonds here. There's only two of them, but that's all we should really need to have a full set of diamond armor. I then want to get a diamond sword, and luckily there's one mysterious little diamond all the way down there on its own. Let's get crafting. First, I'm going to make a helmet. And wow, we have three pieces of diamond armor. We only need one more, and I'm going to craft it right now. Let's get our diamond chest plate and pop it right on. Oh, we look amazing. I want two more diamonds to go make a diamond sword. And look, there's a vein of eight diamonds over here. Let's go into these ones and get so many. All right, I'm going to have eight diamonds in three, two, 
One. Boom, we've got eight diamonds. Now let's make one more crafting table. All I need is to make a full set of diamond everything, like this diamond sword. Let's get rid of this yucky stone sword. We don't need that anymore. And let's make some more sticks so I can get a diamond axe. Oh, diamond axes are so powerful. We're almost ready, but we still need to enchant all of our stuff. First, we need to make an enchanting table. And to get that, we need some obsidian, some diamonds, and a book. Luckily, we have the book and the diamond sorted, but we do not have any obsidian. But look, over there, there, the water enters the lava. That's perfect. That is exactly where we're going to find our obsidian. Wow, obsidian with the x-ray is invisible. I can't believe we can even see through obsidian. That's really powerful. Actually, I can't tell if I'm mining it, but oh yeah, we just did it. Now we just have to mine three more pieces of obsidian, and then we'll be able to make our enchantment table. We now have four pieces of obsidian. Let's head back over to our crafting table and our furnace and get enchanting. Let's quickly make this enchantment table. We need to place the obsidian like this, one diamond here, one diamond there, and the book on top, and boom, we have an enchanting table. Let's place it right on top of our furnace, I think. Now, let's make as many books as we possibly can. All right, we have 57 books. Let's make some more oak planks and see how many bookshelves we can make with all these materials. Okay, it looks like we can make 14. Hopefully, 14 is enough to get all the enchantments we want. And done. All right, first, I'm gonna try my pickaxe, and we get fortune three. I can mine so many diamonds with that. Now let's see my axe. I have efficiency four and unbreaking three. I can mine anything and it will never break. That's crazy. For my sword, I have sweeping edge three and fire aspect two. I can sweep everything with triple damage and burn them as well. Yep, that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna take off my armor, but let's do it slowly. I don't wanna be caught off guard. All right, there's Death Strider or Blast Protection. Eh, I don't really need to swim any better. What I need is to survive explosions. All right, we got Blast Protection and we got Death Strider anyway. That's quite funny. Let's put our leggings in and see what enchantments we can get. Oh, <gasps> Protection 3? Yes, please. We also got Unbreaking. That is awesome. I don't have enough levels to enchant my helmet, but I do have enough to enchant my chest plate. Let's get Protection 3 on it so I can barely take any damage. Wait, look, I have enough enchantment levels for for projectile protection four. This means Milo's arrows will barely damage me. Wow, that's really lucky. Let's pick up our enchantment table and go try and destroy that obsidian block. We only have two minutes left though, so we really have to hurry. Luckily, my brand new fortune pickaxe will help me get a bunch of diamonds on the way. How are we gonna get up there without Milo shooting us down with arrows again? <gasps> Wait a second, I know, ender pearls. I saw an enderman on the way over here. I just need to find where he went. Look, there he is. Come here, enderman. I need your pearls. All right, I have fire aspect and sweeping edge, so you should take a lot of damage from this. Come on, come on. Oh gosh, I think I might have upset him. Let's make sure he can't teleport and attack us. By hiding under this tree, we're blocking him from attacking us because he's too tall. Oh no, he found a way around it. Let's block this off with cobblestone so he definitely can't get us. I hear him taking damage. All right, we killed him and got an ender pearl. Now we'll be able to go over to the tower and hopefully Milo won't even see us. This has to work. I'm gonna sneak around back this way on the other side of the stairs. This will hopefully distract Milo because he's definitely gonna be guarding from the staircase side. Okay, luckily this village is so big so there's already a path cleared. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna end a pearl up there. I'm gonna get as close as I can first so I can end a pearl really closely without missing. All right, okay. I'm gonna end a pearl up there in three, two, one. Hopefully this works. I made it. Hello, Milo. Chip, what are you doing? You get here! I've come to destroy you! Ah, you're hurting me! Ah! All right, I knocked Milo off. Now it is time to break this block while he's still down. Enjoy a taste of defeat, Milo. The worm is burning me! I'm gonna get you! Not if I get this block first. I win in three, two, one! Hooray! I broke the obsidian block. No! 